gotta hustle, I gotta grind, I gotta chase the dreams of mine, I got a vision, I got a spark, I'm gonna turn it to a work of art, it's not about the money, it's not about the fame, it's about creating something that will carry my name, entrepreneurship, that's the game, building empires, creating change, bringing ideas to life, taking risks, feeling alive, feeling alive, invest brand pie show. Grand rising, grand rising to all my investors self out there, man. Thank y'all for tapping in to another one of these episodes of the Invest Brand Pie Show. This is officially episode number 38. And today's topic we're going to be talking about is utilizing social media, which is very important for an entrepreneur to do because the quicker... Uh, you can get people in front of your brand, get people uh, part of your community and what have you will help you out in the long run, especially being in the field of entrepreneurship, guys. It's very, very important. But before I get into the topic, you know what time it is, man. If you are watching this playback on our YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be notified when a new episode drop. And also, make sure you hit the like button. Very much important to hit the like button. And also, if you are listening to this playback on our Spotify channel, make sure you hit the follow button so you can be notified when a new episode drops. And also, if you haven't done it already, which you should have done already, with to investbrand.com, subscribe and get down on our email and list so you can be notified when uh the official uh, site is relaunching what have you because we got very important stuff new shirts new hats that's going to be part of the site guys so you do not want to miss out on that and also when you strive to the chat uh, subscribe on our site on our email list and what have you you are part of our community right you part of the invest brand journey so you will be notified when anything new goes on within the invest brand you also will get discounts and what have you so it's very important to stay abreast of what's going on to uh, going on within the invest brand because this brand was created for you to be part of the journey because at, here over here in invest brand we understand when you invest uh, invest in yourself, you are investing in your brand, which is yourself and what have you. So it's very important to understand that. But before, uh, I'm going to take a quick commercial break. And when I get back, we know what time it is. We're going to jump into that segment called Quote Me On That, where I read you a quote to explain to you what the quote is. Then we're going to go and move further. Uh, we're going to move along from there, guys. So other than that, man, we want y'all tap back into the Invest Brand Pie Show. Yep. Welcome back to the Invest Brand Pie Show. Um, like I said before, man, this is officially episode number 38. Um, topic we're talking about is utilizing social media. But before we jump into the topic, you know what time it is. It's that segment we call Quote Me On That, where I read you a quote and I explain to you what the quote means. So here go the quote for all my entrepreneurs out here, my investors itself, people betting on themselves, people out here pursuing goals. And today, uh, quote for today is failure is part of the process to success uh, let me read that once again just in case you didn't hear it or you didn't understand it the quote is failure is part of the process to success and what i mean by that quote is a lot of times we look at failure as the end all to be all we look at failure as a time or out uh exit to quit uh, doing what we working on or what we set forward to do and what have you right because we don't understand failure is the is part of the process right because when you fail it allow you to have an insight on what you've done wrong right so you can be able to get it right you know it might not have been something that's big but it's just a little tweak that you need to add here and there you might need to add something you might need to take something away and what have you right but you know, you got to look at if you look at failure as the opportunity for you to be able to get it right. That's how you should look at it. Rather than you look at failure as this is the time for me just to quit. Maybe this was meant to be, you know, maybe um, this wasn't right for me and what have you. No, this is maybe something that, you know, you need to reevaluate. That's all it took for you to do to be able to find what you went wrong at. So you can be able to get it right because understand, guys, you have multimillionaires. Who are, who are entrepreneurs, billionaires who are entrepreneurs who didn't get it right the first time, right? You have some that have two or three failed businesses before they got it right, right? So it might take some time. That's part of the process. 
because if you if they ever gave up after the first time the first go around um, creating the first business they wouldn't be where they are today right what they understood is okay i may fail but this doesn't mean i'm supposed to stop supposed to give up they went back to the drawing board and got it right and was able to come back again and get it right the second time like i said sometimes it may take a, a third time to get it right what have you but the uh, point of the whole um thing is never give up never take failure as uh, option to give up and what have you this is very very important guys but that is the segment quote me on that guys uh, we're gonna jump into the segment called entrepreneurs um excuse me guys right now i don't know all of a sudden i just got a stuffy nose i think it's because it's the air i have on in my house and what have you so please work with me um i know i sound a little stuffy the sniffles i'm trying to hold back on the sniffles so y'all don't have a whole pie show hearing me sniffle on the mic and what have you so i'm gonna try my best to hold it in as much as possible and what have you um but other than that guys uh let's uh entrepreneurs entrepreneurs i don't want to hold y'all too long uh like i said man last week i said it's gonna be a two uh to be continued on what we talked about entrepreneurs last week and that was on the um new um instagram uh, release uh what threads and what have you so i wanted to go back and take more of, of an in-depth look of what it is and um what it does and what have you and hear how other people feel about it and what have you right so um this is to be continue of the topic that I um, was talking about, like I said, threads and what have you. Um, my own conjecture that I got from threads as I was ever have time to sit down and look at it was uh, this is something is more of like a community based thing where now you can get an in-depth conversation with people <clears throat> within your community, within people, um, just within your space and what have you, right? It's more of a conversational piece um, where you can, it's less hashtags, it's not that much of you know, a lot of imagery and what have you, pictures, images and what have you. It's more of just communicating, you know what I'm saying? You um, putting a post out, people either liking it, responding to it and what have you. Without the pictures, you can give a, a um, just just a in depth conversation. It's like a community piece that was added on to the Instagram, right? Because uh, I see where you create you a Threads account, which I did, so y'all can go and follow Invest Brand now on Threads um, on your Invest profile underneath your name profile name. They have a uh, account. Uh, they have a number for you, a Threads number for you. And um, I heard from somebody, and they believe that might be the number. Uh, when you enter that you signed up for it, that might be your number far as your threads account and what have you. I don't know how true that is and what have you, but from my own conjecture, like I said, man, threads look like it's something that's um is already have what well over three million something uh, downloads. I'm it may be more than that and what have you, um, but it have a lot of downloads already. Um, uh, far as threads, matter of fact, let me let me take a look at it see how many download, um that it does because i like to be exactly right about it and what have you so let me see y'all please give me a minute let me look at threads let's see how many download they have far as downloads um 50 i was very i was very well off i said 3 million my bad guys i knew i meant 30 i knew it was somewhere around 30 million last time i heard not 3 million but it has 50 million plus downloads it's saying so far in my uh, app store 50 plus downloads guys um so this was a major hit when they it looked like when they released it because now like i said what's so special about it is you really don't have to start from scratch you can take you literally take your followers um that you have on your instagram and what have you and they will implement them in your threads and what have you right so or your information you already have your information set up in instagram you don't really have to do that part no no um all over again when you get the thread sign up for threads because it all converts over information you can have it converted and put it into your threads and what have you right so that's very special about it so you don't have to start over from scratch you can gain your you can have your followers 
the inform same information that you have on your Instagram page, you can have it inputted directly to your Threads account. So that's very special. So that's um, very um, you don't have to waste time on that and what have you. And another thing is, like I said, I've been uh, using Threads, just um, posted things and what have you here and there. Um, so just testing it out, you know, seeing what it, uh, what it is and what have you. But right now, you know, it's something that's very easy, straight to the point, nothing that's hard. Um, nothing that's complicated. And like I said, this is a good way for you to build, um, help build your community. Um, you can post um, pictures um, with captions and what have you. You can do little things. Um, it, it, it's not something whereas you're going to see a lot of hashtags on. This is just something that you can um, have like a side conversation with people within your space and what have you right um it's a great way to communicate um it's so right now it's still in this early stages so um it don't really have a lot of special things on it so far you know so well time as time passes what have you never know how they might um make some tweaks here and there like every other app does but really that's that's all i got from it man it's something that's simple um if, if you got an instagram account and you have a following what have you and you want to take um your conversation over into threads um so it's, it can be more of a conversational piece for you more of a piece where you can go in depth and have um a lot of conversation without the distraction of videos um, pictures what have you threads is a good way like i said be uh, on my last uh, pod show uh on last episode um last week um if you uh introvert this would be a good way for you because a lot of times you know you may not want to do the, the the videos and do the lives and what have you you can jump over to threads and you can post you can take advantage this is something that you can take advantage of without the distraction of feeling like you have to post something of a video you have to do a live um what have you so this is a good way guys this is a, um it's a good thing so far um like i said we signed up uh invest brand you can catch us on threads um right now you know like i said um it's 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 good right now to me you know it's not something uh like i said it's in the early stages so we don't know how far it can um go from here and what have you so uh me far as like is it similar something to twitter i don't feel it is um twitter is is somewhere is it's all over the over the place twitter is you know um this is right here threads is some i guess it's more in depth far as to people uh and however you want to use it because like i said it's threads is more of i feel like it's more of a, a subtle um place where you can have your community and have in-depth conversations without um everything being all over the place like twitter can be and what have you um so that's my own conjecture of uh, threads um like i said you catch invest brand on threads follow us there and what have you also can follow our main page on instagram on Facebook, on all them other social media platforms, guys. But I don't want to hold y'all too long. Um, like I said, the topic of today we're going to be talking about is utilizing social media because it's very important to understand utilizing social media and learning how to uh, use it to your advantage, right? So you can be able to get people in front of your brand, get people in front of your services. So that's very important, especially you as a, a, a new entrepreneur or entrepreneur that haven't been in the game for a long time. Um, it is, is very important, right? Because, you know, like I said, I'm still in the learning phases of how to utilize social media to my strengths, right? I'm still trying to learn how to, um, use it and maximize it to the point where, um, I can take advantage of things, um, on social media where I can help build my community even more and what have you, right? To you get my, my products and my, um, my services out there and what have you invest brand um you know get that out as far as as possible in front of how many people as possible the right people not just a lot of people but not just random people but the right 
target audience. So I'm still learning how to utilize social media. So that's something that's very important to do, uh, especially if you want to be in the field of entrepreneurship. You want to learn how to utilize social media because, like I said, there's so many other social media platforms out there, but it's all about finding the one that works for you and fits best for you because you cannot use all um, every social media platform the same way you do others. You you have to learn each and every platform and how to use it and what to do and what to implement in there and what have you because it's different target age brackets that use these certain um platforms and what have you so you cannot market or the same way that you can on other social media platforms for example same way the the way you market things on instagram might not necessarily you can market the same way on facebook because it's two different age demographic and it does differently different things and what have you so you once you understand the way social media works and you learn how to utilize it to your best ability you will have no problem no problem, no problem at all, man, be able to be effective on social media and what have you. So I have five things um, that I came up with that can possibly, you know, help you as an entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying, to utilize social media and what have you. So the first thing that's on my list as far as utilizing social media is making sure you have established, strong brand presence. And that's very important, you know what I'm saying? Because you want to make sure, um, first thing I have on my uh, bulletin point is you want to definitely develop a clear brand identity, right? And that one, and when, and when I mean by a clear um, brand identity, you want to make sure your message of your brand lines with the reflection of your business values and what have you, because it's very important to understand that because you don't want to have um, your business message. And when people read uh, what your business is all about, your story of your business, and it doesn't line with your values, then they're going to look at you as not taking your business as being serious going to look at it more or less of being a hobby, something that's just thrown out there that's not going to be very trustworthy and what have you. So you want to have a, 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 a clear identity so people can identify with your brand, understand what your brand does, well, understand your services that you provide and what have you. So that's very important. And the other thing that I have on the bulletin point um, underneath this is create consistent visuals um, such as your logo, um, your colors that you have in your fonts and what have you, because you got to understand all this ties into the psychology of sales of your customers and what have you, because um, some people may buy based on the colors of what you have on your site. Some people might be intrigued by the font that you are using within your, your, um, your product, what you put on your shirts and what have you. All these things um, plays into the buyer psychology, right? Um, it's something very important to know and understand. When you understand that, you will know how to tap into somebody's psychology and, and get them um, intrigued about um, your brand because they like the way the colors fit together. They like the font that you're using because this is, you got to understand, man, this is something that's very, very, very important to be able to understand because this goes all cross cross every social media platform right um it just doesn't stop at one so when you build a strong brand presence across social media and what have you you're going to have a lot of people stopping by and wanting to be part of your community people want to buy from you just to say they have something that they feel as value because of your brand message, um, the the colors that you offer and what have you. So it's very important, man. And you want to make sure um, um, you take advantage of this, right? It's very important because each color have its own definitely meaning um, behind it and what have you. Like I said, this plays in part of the um, psychology of your buyer, of the buyer and what have you. And this is why, what makes them want to buy from certain brands and what have you right and don't get me wrong yes you have brands out here 
who's part of the trend that that's the only reason people want to buy it because of the name um and some people you know in other ways buy it because they see other people wearing it and what have you um so that's also can be a reason you know why too so uh number two is choose the right platform because you got to understand like i said go back to what i was talking about before uh, when i said every social media platform doesn't work the same way and you got to when you understand that you can't market your brand the same way on every social media platform facebook it's a different age demographic you know more or less you know facebook is for like our parents grandparents for the middle age and what have you a lot of them you will see them on facebook right granted you still have people that are uh in the younger bracket that's on facebook facebook but facebook is more towards the you know middle generate middle age um and you might see a couple of grandmas on there granddads on there what have you so you might not be able to market your brand the same way as you on facebook as you would on instagram because instagram we know is for like you know the uh the millenniums and what have you right uh people um on there like the younger generation um platforms like instagram tiktok and what have you are geared towards the younger generation right a lot of people on instagram they buy things from instagram from brands from instagram so when you marketing your um your 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 brand on Instagram, you're going to market a different way that you would on social media. You might change up some wordings. You might change up the picture just a little bit so it can draw the attention of people, the younger people that's on Instagram, the younger people that's on TikTok and what have you, right? So you got to understand, um, when you understand the social medias and how it works, you can use that to your advantage, right? Because a lot of times we don't know that entrepreneurs don't know that, and you know, you have a lot of entrepreneurs out here that figure, okay, it's a social media platform. We know, um, people going to be on here. So we're going to just market it same way. We're going to use the same marketing concept that we use on Instagram, TikTok, And you wonder why you're not getting a lot of hits like you would, uh, like you was from the same ad that you use on Instagram. You may get a lot of hits on it on Instagram versus you are on Facebook and what have you. That's because it's a different demographic. You don't have it in front of the right people, the target audience and what have you. So all that plays into it, guys. You got to understand, man, that's one thing that you have to understand. Uh, you want to make sure you choose the right platform because um, you want to make sure you got your brand, your services in front of the right target audience. It makes it makes a difference and it's very important. Very, very important. And number three, you want to create engaging content, right? You want to uh, create content that people can relate to, right? You want to create content that is that's going to make people stop in a track and be like, hmm, make people think like, let me click on this. I want to read about this even f further. I want to see about this. I want to know about this um, and what have you. You want to create content that it touches somebody uh reaches reach out and touch somebody in a way where they can relate to what you're talking about right you don't want to you know content that's going to be all over the place you know you don't want to create content where people don't understand what you're talking about because that'd be a quickest way for some uh turn somebody off from your brand you know you create in uh time wasting uh content that no one really uh is engaging with it right you want to make sure you are sharing valuable information something that people feel like they can benefit from right you want to share content that people can take with them and uh, apply it to their life and what have you so it's a lot of things that you can do as far as creating your content you can create videos you can create pictures with uh subtitles um pictures with uh, different little fonts and captions and what have you. you can do little short videos short reels it's look it's a lot of little mixture of things you can do for as your content but once you find that right formula far as producing your content you can continue to use that because it's drawing people in and um sometimes and, and i'm gonna put this out put it uh, put this out um, so I don't want I want you to think, oh, I got all I got to do is create good content and people going to um, draw to it. You're going to know it is sometimes to whereas you might create something and post something and that post may draw in a lot of people 
And next time you create something that's similar to the last post may not draw as many people. Right. Because at the same time, you still got to face and understand it's something called the algorithm. Right. Where sometimes it might pick it up. Sometimes it might not. But at the same time, if you still make an engaging content, people going to look for your content. Right. Because people can't get enough of the content that you are producing that makes them want to think, makes them engage in conversation and what have you. So it's very important that you are still creating and uh, producing content in a way that um, people are taking a liking to. And the one content that you can create that can be uh, somewhat um, advantage to you is take people um, and, and put them and make them part of your journey, especially your entrepreneurial entrepreneurial journey. Make them part of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, your daily tasks, your daily things that you do as an entrepreneur. People like the backstory. People like to feel part of your journey. And that's very important, guys. Um, number four is engaging with your audience. It's very important because at the end of the day, when people feel like when they respond to your post, send you an email commenting on your post and when you respond back to them it makes them feel good it makes them feel like you are reachable that you are really listening to them you make them feel like you are very welcoming right when you just respond back and engage with the people that's supporting your brand or people that's um, liking your post people that support the things that you do when they feel like that you take an initiative, time out, it's your day to respond back to them. It makes them feel good, right? It makes them feel like, okay, this person really cares. This person is really hearing me, right? I didn't expect it because you got to understand as um, just regular civilians, which entrepreneurs, we regular civilians too. But I'm just saying, you know, uh, when you are a social media phenom and people know you and what have you, they look at you as not being a normal civilian, but um, I don't want to lose my train of thought. Like what what I was saying is, you know, you want to uh, when when they feel like they already have in their mind, like they're not gonna respond back to me. They got a million other things to do. They have a lot of people uh, commenting, a lot of people um, emailing them. They're not gonna respond back to me and what have you. And when, the minute when you respond back to them, it changes their whole perception. They like, man, for you to take this time out to really engage with me is it, it makes me feel good right so that's what's important man to engage with your people engage with your uh with the people in your co your community um start discussions with them offer them feedback because now it makes you feel authentic and make you feel like you are a person that cares about what your people within your community uh, or people that support you have to say and what have you right that's that's very important man just take the time out man and show that you genuinely care about the people within your, your community because it goes a long way. Because like I said, if you shower your community with the seeds that they need to feel as if they are part of your, your journey, which they are now, I won't say if, if, but they are part of your journey. They are part of your journey. When you are making them feel like they welcome into your journey and what have you, they will go to the ends of the world for you, man. Look at, I'm going to use Beyonce. Look at Beyonce, right? Beyonce, the beehive community, what have you. They would go to ends for uh, Beyonce. They would go to battle. They would go to war for Beyonce, man. Look at LeBron fans, guys. They would go to a wit's end for LeBron James, what have you. See, you want to when you are showing your community love, people that support you love and what have you, and you feel and they feel like you are authentic, they can reach out and they can ask you a question anytime you respond, they will go to bat for you. They will go to, and don't get me wrong, you know, I'm not saying uh, Beyonce and LeBron James, they respond to everybody, all their fans or their community, what have you. But I'm just saying, um, when you have, uh, when you uh, genuinely, genuinely care for the people that's within your community that support you, they will go to war for you, right? Um, they will support you to, to the end. And what have you, right? This so that's that's what's very important. 
um, number five, last thing, number five, is collaborate and network, which is very important. You know, you want to seek out new opportunities, right? Because when you new in this game, entrepreneurship, what have you, and you have other entrepreneurs that's at another level that has succeeded, that, has, that went through the leaps and bounds, then ran through all the potholes, ran through all over the bumps, speed bumps, and what have you, they are a good resource to have because they can tell you what to avoid. They can show you things. They they done built up their network to where they can appoint you to people that help them along the way. They help them get in the right direction. Because a lot of times we don't, we have a great idea, we have great concepts, but we don't know the right direction to go in and what have you. So it's very important, man, for you to collaborate um with people because that's that's very important you know you want to um you know you have communities out here that you can join you have groups that you can join you have other entrepreneurs that you can tap into um and uh, have them mentor you in a way where they can show you the game right so it's all about man networking too you definitely want to uh know how to network because you got to understand you want to connect with like-minded individuals like yourself you want to be able to connect with people that's out that's already been doing this right because once you connect with them they can like i said they can show you the ropes they can show you give you point you in the right direction where you need to go because they already been there right um, sometimes we need to do that. Sometimes we need to get to uh, get to the point where we can find somebody who can help mentors um, so we can be able to um, head in the right direction for as an entrepreneur. Right. Because it's all about, man, as an entrepreneur is succeeding as an entrepreneur. Been in the field of entrepreneurship, man, it's a commitment. So if you are committed to making sure that you become the best entrepreneur as possible, you're going to do what it takes to become that, right? Um, no matter what, you're not going to take anything less and what have you. So it's very important to get out here to network. Like I said, you have social media platforms with groups that you can join. You have social media platforms that you have people that you connect with, um, that you can surround yourself with and what have you. You have seminars. You have different things that goes on within uh, being an entrepreneur that can help you grow feed you the proper seeds that you need to grow as an entrepreneur. So it's very important, guys, because I'm still growing as an entrepreneur. I don't know everything as an entrepreneur. I'll, I'll be alive. I sit here and told you that. Right. That's why you don't see me with any videos um, on social media telling you guys, hey, if you want to become a multimillionaire brand owner, you want to sell X amount of this and that. Um, all you have to do is join invest brand. Um, building course and what have you No, i don't have that because i'm not at the level to where i can give y'all that type of information where y'all can sell um a hundred thousand two hundred thousand items become a multimillionaire and what have you because i haven't done that yet so i can't teach y'all something that i haven't done yet guys but i can surely help we can help each other especially with uh, advice that you may receive for somebody or something that you came across you read you've been doing your studying this is what this conversation that i'm i bring to every episode i bring to you something that i put together some uh advice that i got from someone or um something that i seen that i can i can add my own opinion to and what have you i'm gonna bring it to people within my invest brand community to uh, entrepreneurs to help you out because this that's what's part of it. We all bring help each other come up as entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's what it's all about, right? So I like I said, I'd be alive. I say here and told y'all that I I just know everything as an entrepreneur, which I don't. I'm still trying to grow my business. I'm still trying to grow as an entrepreneur. But at the same time, as I'm growing, I'm gonna help you too. You know, entrepreneurs that's thinking about getting into the game, entrepreneurs that's just starting and what have you, I'm gonna help you too. Right. So that's what is that's what it's all about, man. Helping each other grow as entrepreneurs because we all in it um, to succeed. Right. So you never know, man, who you may need in the long run, who you may come across and network with in the long run. So that's why, man, it's very, very important, man, as an entrepreneur, you do what it takes, man, to be able to become a successful entrepreneur and what have you guys. But thank you all 
for tapping into the Invest Brand Pod Show, officially number episode number thirty eight. Uh, make sure y'all go over to Invest Brand, InvestBrand.com right now. Get down on our emailing list. It's very important, guys, to do that um, so y'all can be abreast um, with anything that happens within the journey of Invest Brand um, and what have you. Um, it's very important. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And make sure you definitely hit the like on this video, guys, so the algorithm know that we are real out here on these uh, YouTube streets and what have you. Invest Brand Pod Show, guys. Thank y'all for tapping in, man. I'll see y'all next Monday. Yep.